My name is Faith, and I have some stories to tell. I'm a boxer bulldog mix. My mom and dad met me while I was being cared for at the Best Friends Animal Society in Utah and decided they wanted to adopt me. Now, I live in Muncie, Indiana, with Grateful Rescue and Sanctuary founders Pamela and Mike. In fact, I'm the ambassador for Grateful Rescue. It's a pretty sweet life. Sometimes I help my dad at the office, while other times I just demand attention from my mom. Tonight, we want you to gather around and listen to fun, interesting stories. We call it Faith's Book Nook. Each week, we pick a local celebrity or special person in the community to read a children's book that has an animal theme. We live stream it here each week. To be honest, I'm not sure what a live stream means. Anyways, make sure you're in your comfy chair because we're about to listen to a great story together at Faith's Book Nook. My name is Jaina, and this is my friend Findlay, and she and I are going to share a book called Snowzilla by Janet Lawler. It snowed without stopping for week after week. When it ended at last, Cammie Lou took a peek. She bundled and booted and zipped up her brother. Let's build a huge snowman unlike any other. They packed a large snowball and pushed it around. Then mom plowed the yard, dumping snow in a mound. They rolled out a middle as plump as a pig, placed a head on the top with the help of dad's rig. They scavenged for buttons, a hat and big eyes, for a nose and a mouth, and for arms the right size. Then Cammie Lou cheered as she stood down below, we'll call you Snowzilla, our giant of snow. Thousands of people rode buses to see the towering snowman as tall as a tree. But neighbors complained and a few acted wild. They organized quickly and lawsuits were filed. Poochie is scared to go out the front door. Another said views were much better before. A lady warned everyone, make no mistake, when temperatures rise, he'll turn into a lake. A judge ruled, Snowzilla will have to come down. He's too big a threat to the people in our town. So Cammie used email and texting and blogging to save all their efforts spent packing and slogging. She contacted cousins and friends that she knew. Snowzilla's in danger. Help! What can we do? At dawn the next day, a man backed up his truck and measured Snowzilla. I think we're in luck. People brought lumber and scaffolding too, hot chocolate and muffins and snacks for the crew. Then Cammie, her brother, and other kind folks all labored together and told snowman jokes. They hoisted Snowzilla up just a few inches by using a forklift and pulleys and winches. Parading down Main Street, they stopped near the square. Cammie Lou pointed, please set him down there. The community garden was wide open space. He'd belong to them all in this new perfect place. Snowzilla was, Snowzilla was padded by dozens of hands while everyone sang to the town's marching bands. Weeks later, the sun came hotter and bright. Snowzilla grew smaller and flowed out of sight. Cammie Lou waved, hardly shedding a tear because she had much bigger plans for next year. The end. Thank you for sharing this time with Finley and I. I hope you enjoyed the story. And we certainly <laughs> did. That was a great story. Good evening, Pamela. How are you doing tonight? Good evening. I'm fine. Thank you. How are you, Jason? Great. We have a couple of special guests with us tonight. We do. Welcome back, KJ. Always a pleasure. Thank you. And so excited and, to be here. Oh, yes. We're excited to have you. And Jaina and Finley was Thank so adorable you. during Thank the reading. My goodness. 
I think he would make a she would make a good reading dog. She I think she would, would make a, an excellent reading dog. Yes. She just sat there like she was listening to every word. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you like to be right in the middle of everything. So yes. <laughs> well, I was just looking over my Finley facts, and she is a 15 month old Bernie Doodle. Is that right? She is. And so she's she in training. She is. Um, you have to be a year old to start training to be a, a therapy dog. And so we started right at her one year point. So we're really just about three months in, but she's doing very well. I heard that she you can command her to put her head down, lay her head down at any time on anything. Yes, we just the command we say is greet. And she will put her head down on someone's lap, on a table, on the side of a chair. Mm -hmm. It's something that, you know, hopefully we can use in hospitals and nursing homes and, and schools when we take her um, to just kind of greet. Well, I'll tell you once, we have a great story from one of our nursing home visits. We have an old English sheepdog who's also oh, a therapy dog. Nice. And there was an old grumpy old man and he didn't want anything to do with them. But our Jasper went over and laid his head down on this old man's lap. And the old man just burst into tears, oh. happy smiles. He said, just look at this, look at this yeah. dog. And it was like the most heartwarming thing ever. It broke the ice on that grumpy old man. <laughs> and he just laughed and laughed. And so when I read about that, I thought I thought of um, Jasper and how much that means to the elderly and yes. the nursing homes. Mm -hmm. yes, certainly. So tell me more about him. Well, so she's a mini Bernie Doodle. So she's half Bernie's Mountain Dog, half mini Poodle. So she's about full size um, at 60 pounds. And she loves every animal and every person she comes across, um, big and small. And um, she's just learning lots of really great things, learning to sit and stay and down. And if we ask her to leave something, she'll leave it. Um, and so she's just, she's really one of the smartest and sweetest dogs we have ever owned. And we've had quite a few dogs. So very blessed. Dana, there's a video that I'm going to, we're going to play in a second. Uh, set that up for us. Um, just how talented is Finley in this video? <laughs> well, she is pretty talented. She got an advent calendar for doggies from her aunt and uncle. And so every morning we'd break it out and she was excited every morning to get it. And um, this little video just shows some of the things that she's learned to do in her training, so. All right, let's take a look. Thank you. It's Advent 18th, Finney. What do we got? What do we got? Where's the 18th? Well, there it is. It's right there. What's in there? What's in there? It is a treat. You sit. Can you lay down? Can you leave it? It's Advent, Finn. It's Advent. You're a good dog. Say thank you to Uncle Scott and Aunt Sue. Happy Friday. <laughs> she is indeed. So how long will the process take to become a therapy dog? How long does that take? Well, I think it, I've been told it really varies on, on the dog and how quickly they're able to pass the tests that need to be passed. Um, and fortunately for us, Finley has learned very, very quickly. Um, so we started at 12 months and she is probably going to be able to take her tests within the next two to three weeks. But again, I think it really kind of varies. Um, the trainer that I'm working with, Chandler and Emily Smith, they said she has been really one of the quickest dogs to get to the test time. So we're excited. Oh, has yeah. there been anything along the way uh, that, ha that surprised you um, as far as what she needs to know to be a therapy dog and what she needs to do? Well, there were some things that... Um, one of the things that we're teaching her, what she knows how to do is to touch, the touch command just with our fingers. 
and she just touches it with her nose. And I thought that was kind of interesting, but Chandler explained when we have her like in the hospital, um, one of the things she can do is if I tell her to touch the button that opens the door, um, she can do things like that, which I guess a lot of people really find fun to do oh, wow. and to do some special tricks. You know, the greeting, she can, um, we say pause and she puts her two front paws up on anything that I ask her. So rather than her jumping up on a hospital bed, which we wouldn't want, um, she could put her paws up there so she's close to the patient and they can move on. So um, yeah, quite a few things. I didn't really realize all the thing it entails, but it's been very, very fun. Excellent. We thought since her book was Snowzilla that she enjoyed so much, we would take a look at some of the folks who have sent in pictures of their pets enjoying the snow. <laughs> I'll take a look at that. And Jana promised us that you'll keep us updated on uh, her journey as she becomes a therapy dog. And, uh, Absolutely. Yes, and when, she, please. when she gets her uh, diploma, please let us know. We'd love to see how she's doing. So. I would love that as well. And anytime I, I can read another book and share that, we would we'd let, love to do that as well. So it was awesome. kind of our first time. So it was great. Awesome. Thank you yeah, so great much. job. Very good. Thanks. Awesome. Thanks, Jana. We appreciate it. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to talk about Oreo. Oh, I have Oreo, Oreo. the dog. Oh. A fundraiser coming up. There's Oreo. Oh my gosh. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I didn't realize Oreo was so little. Pamela, tell us about Oreo. Oreo is, um, I think he's a chug because he looks like a, he looks like a Chihuahua pug. Um, he's a little larger than a chihuahua. He they call them chugs? Yes, I just learned that, actually. <laughs> I did not know that. <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> uh, he's a sweetheart, but he's very selective. I uh, There we go. There we go. Oh, oh. He's fallen in love with me. He's learned to trust. And that's what you get once you can adopt Oreo is um, he, he will bond with you when he realizes he's safe and good. He's under, he's been undergoing heartworm treatment. Um, he come from Oklahoma is a big transfer, several, um, several rescues and shelters joined in and, and, and helped, um, save these animals from the kill shelter. Um, and we got Oreo along with a couple others that have already been placed, but he has been undergoing heartworm treatment and he just finished his last dosage and he's, he's in a quiet phase now. He's got to be very calm because, um, with the heartworms, um, going away, they could, it could hurt his lungs if he gets too excited. So oh, wow. he is, um, he's confined to Mike's office. With <laughs> Mike loves that. <laughs> he doesn't seem to be having any trouble keeping calm. <laughs> yeah. and, and, except for when I come in the room right at first, he just hops around. He's all excited. And, and, uh, and I, and I'm like, calm down, calm, calm down. But, um, but, but he, he's doing well. It is, it is a long, slow process. Now he's got six months that he has to keep calm like this. Um, and, um, and it is a little expensive. So that's why we appreciate so much that we're having the bingo fundraiser. 
with our star that's hosting it, KJ. <laughs> and you have some guests joining as well, right? I do. I'm going to bring some friends with me. Uh, Kitsy Duncan, who is the star of Oddity Files on Prime Video. Uh, she's a paranormal investigator. And as you can see there, she has two gorgeous puppies of her own, oh Luna and Venus. Uh, and she's going to uh, bring them to bingo. And then uh, also uh, today I was talking with, uh, he's he's done everything. He's an actor, he's a director, he's a comedian. Uh, and he spent a lot of years in LA like doing the movies and all the things. And he's recently moved back to Indiana. His name is Peter Spellos. And he is absolutely a, a just a ball of energy and so much fun. And I said, would you want to join us for bingo? And he said, anything for the pups. So oh, very cool. <laughs> yeah, I think it's, it's going to be uh, really fun. So one week from tonight, uh, we, we will be playing bingo uh, and gratefulbingo.com is, is where you can get your card. It's uh, it's free to play. You can play up to three cards, although you kind of have to have some experience we've learned <laughs> to keep up, to keep up with more than one card. But we'll have some uh, some prizes, too. Right, Pamela? Yes, yes. We have donated prizes and and um, and we have different things for different types of people. We have kitty cat dog stuff um, and people stuff. So everybody can win something fun and gift certificates and so forth. And just playing bingo is is is, is fun. It's, it's something fun. that I I grew up doing. So now and I, I I've been told that I will ha actually physically have the 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 bin the circle thing the and spin it, the cage and spinning the ball yes. the cage. Thank you. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I'm so excited. I forgot my words. Yeah. Uh, so the cage will be with me and we'll be spinning live and uh, it'll be it'll be a lot of fun playing bingo I, I i see some of the comments already of people who are ready to to play bingo and all of this to help little uh oreo little and, pumpkin here oh <laughs> my goodness our last bingo game we were fortunate to raise hundreds of dollars to help pumpkin and her kitties oh which is yes. fun um for those of you who haven't seen bingo let's take a look at, at the last game and, and look at the fun we definitely need some donations tonight because little jelly here has had an unexpected little accident so oh, he no. has to have his leg checked out. He's been oh. limping for a couple of days. But Jelly is actually the one kitten. Oh, hi, Jelly. <laughs> Jelly is actually the one kitten that has been adopted. And these are both of our mixes, actually. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. We also microchip the kitties before they go home. So we are looking at a pretty good bill here coming up shortly. And Mama, too. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Uh, Stephanie Sellers, Stephanie Sellers of Anderson, just won bingo. Yay! Congratulations, Yay. Stephanie. So there you go. So we have a lot of updates tonight. How are Duncan and the Kitties doing, Pamela? They're doing great. In fact, they have um, their spay and neuter tomorrow, and they will be ready to go home this upcoming week. They wow. They're all the gro they're growing up so quickly. So it just surprises me. I've not been in the kitten business very long, but even watching Johnny Storm, I can't believe how quickly these little guys grow. But um, yes, they're doing that, great. Yeah, and, they do. <laughs> and the little injured paw has, has worked itself out uh, that she was talking about. I think it was um, Sprinkles that had injured her paw, but um, she's doing fine now. Everybody's nice and healthy and ready to go to the next chapter in life to their new homes. That's so great to hear. And uh, are they, they will be available on your website to fill out an application and adopt? Mm -hmm. On gratefulrescue.org. Um, the only two that have already been placed is Mama Duncan and um, Jelly. 
is has been placed okay. by a dear friend of um, of our foster mom. I, so, I'm so excited. I don't know if, if, if the person who's adopting Duncan is uh, is watching, but I am so excited for you. <laughs> Just watching her with her kittens and kind of seeing uh, you know the changes since you first brought her in. She is, she reminds me so much of Amelia, my Siamese, and they oh, are, yeah. I mean, they're just, their emotions are so big and they're so loving and they're so curious and just such fabulous pets that uh, uh, Duncan's, Duncan's gonna, gonna be really special for her human. She's very thin. I'm sure she'll fatten up. I'm sure that comes along with having the kittens. I've always had a fascination with Siamese cats. I just think they're so gorgeous, so mysterious. And well, beautiful. they think so too. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. and they know it. <laughs> and it's okay if she's skinny. Uh, a lot of times people think that Siamese cats are are maybe underweight, and it's actually, it's, it, their body is naturally very, very lean. So, oh, they are slender cats. Yes. Okay. Yes, they are. I yes. I mean, not all of them are, but most of them should be. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Some of them have better appetites than others, maybe. <laughs> yes, for sure. <laughs> We're really well, excited. Awesome. And bingo is super easy to play. If you're watching and you are thinking I've never played bingo <coughs> virtually before, um, it's so easy to do this, to get re to you know get registered, sign up and play on your phone or on your computer. Um, so don't uh, don't be intimidated at all to to play bingo uh, next week with us through your computer, through your phone. It's super easy and it is so much fun. And again, uh, TV star Kitsy Duncan is going to be here with us and she'll have her uh, her puppies and, uh, you know, it's just going to be a great night helping raise money for Oreo. Yeah. yeah thank exactly. you. Thank you all for doing that. We're we're very honored. And you bet it's best to go to gratefulbingo.com uh, right now, right after the show tonight. Get your card, reserve your card. You'll get an email and a text alert just before bingo begins, so you don't forget to join us. And make sure once you do that, hit the share button so you can share the event on Facebook so your friends can be a part of it too. So, um, so that's awesome. Well, this has been a great night. We love meeting um, Jaina, who's still in the in the uh, studio here. We're gonna bring her back in. Jaina, thanks so much for joining us. We appreciate that. Oh, thanks for thank you me. so much. Give yes, him thank a you. Hug for us. Best of luck to Finley with uh, with the big test coming up. Thank you. Yes, yes. I'm sure I'll so be way nervous. So. <laughs> <laughs> She'll do great. She will. Thank you. She awesome. will for sure. Well, Thank on that note, we'll see you next Sunday night for some bingo. How's that sound, guys? Sounds, Sounds great. great. Can't wait. All right. Thanks for joining us tonight. Thanks, guys. See you. Bye. 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 Thank you, guys. Bye.